Consumer Electronics Show. And the exciting news is that everything is about the Internet of Things. Devices have to talk not only to each other, but to us as well as consumers. That's where we come in, because our technology helps devices understand the meaning of what consumers want. Our technology helps consumers talk to products such as their car, their stereo, their refrigerator. Our technology helps these devices understand human language right now in 16 different languages. And we're building more languages every quarter. The name of the technology is Natural Language Processing, or NLP for short. It's a $4 billion market growing at 20% annual growth. I've been in this industry since 1995 when I started as a CTO for a small machine translation company called Globalink. Then I moved to IBM where I helped them build a machine translation business and manage their speech recognition business for a decade. Then I started Linguasys in 2010 because I saw a need to do something different in the way natural language processing is done. So I was very fortunate to find a phenomenal NLP technology and brought it in as well as its inventor and then went out and found the best NLP saleswoman I could find. It was everything I'd ever hoped for in natural language processing software and it was a different paradigm called semantic rather than statistical. Unlike our competition, we analyze social analytics in the native language the user is speaking in. That gives people much higher fidelity when they go to gather statistics about how people think about their products. Linguasys has just won a head-to-head -head competition against two of our biggest competitors to help drivers understand how to communicate better with their cars. It's up to the technology to understand the driver, not the driver to understand the technology. We have a big advantage over most of our competitors because we understand social networks in the native language that they're composed in. We do the analysis in the actual German and we can tell you whether that customer really liked the hotel room but didn't like the buffet so much. We do some work for Uncle Sam as well. We help the government understand what people are saying in lots of different languages on social networks so they can understand where threats may occur around the world. We help one of the largest banks in the world with their compliance issues by helping them understand exactly who's behind wire transfers. We're doing exciting work in cars, in other devices, as well as in social networking. So along the way, we've attracted some exciting investors, including Mark Cuban. So now it's time to take the next step. To learn more, please go to our offering page on earlyshares.com. Thanks a lot for listening.